I be of service, sir? Regrettably not. Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. The other modules are rather erratic, sir. Their personality matrices are built on flawed logic. Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup. As I... He crafted the personality model. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices, Indubitably, sir. Very good, sir. If you had prepared 20 years ago, you wouldn't be a wonder now from door to door. Why don't you do right? Like some other men do. Get out of here and get me. animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest? Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe. Call Drama? There is no drama in science. As I learned in high school, science is an intellectual pursuit devoid of bestial emotions. Unless, of course, you are a communist. Like Betsy Bright, who sat next to me in math, and her smoking confederate, Richie Marcus. As I learned in my high school, American High, AHS, drama is for movies. So, you put down Gabe. Thank you. A scamp, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. 
In any event, thank you for putting him down. One last test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of Doggy's cyborg. Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology. I lay the bones and hearts of animals. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers. They are my living, breathing... Indeed. Docile, curious, safe, sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for... No, such creatures are found only here for... Because Big Mountains... I cannot expect a lobotomite to under... Perhaps a demonstration of my... Oh, that's too bad. Nonsense! I was a... We would know if our research was flawed. Why are we even debating this? What you ask is of no importance. Mo Until next... Automite return. The m he. It. It is. What? Why would you do either of those things? There is nothing. Ever since my anxiety filled that and giant cyber. Who's laughing now? No! No matter Enough! You sound like the other visitors, making... Bother the... There is... That castrated nickname... It is our home. Threatened... But no. It was not our first choice of testing grounds, but we no longer have the luxuries. Then we lost the mountain. Yes, in the past, if we could use. If so, we whether. It Until. If it isn't the fascinating little lobotomite. Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here... Oh? Oh, yeah. Stop the presses! Just in from... How dare you bring Ron Kotek in here? What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are? Ooh. Uh. Until our next fight. 
You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear. Facing me, epidermis flushed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouth or cavity? Once the heart, the brain, with That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in It really could be and we Until our Why so? How? What? Nonsense. What? What are you doing? Why are you making me partake in this uh, filthy formography? Enough. I am already intrigued. You have sufficiently percolated me. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It, it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. There is value in what you say. I... I did so enjoy breathing once. Long ago. Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. If you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly.
Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. I be of service, sir. Very.
Outside his doghouse, chock full of cans, before the cybernetic modifications, of course. And no matter how cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even, even while I, I, you know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite pin it down. Why, yes, Gabe, no matter how awful my day had been, he, he was always waiting there. How odd, my gel is decoagulating. And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pants, he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... If you don't mind, I'll take that ball. Just need to remove it. Put it away, somewhere out of radar range. For some reason, its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And I wonder why it didn't hit me before, until I saw that memory in your hands. This sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still, it is no matter. 
Crush the feeling down. Crush it down. Push it into the loop. The... Hmm. Yes. Forgotten. Almost. Yes? I do not need to remember anymore. Not today. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Might I be of service, sir? Very good. Identify yourself. Law abiding. Commencing attack. On hostile. Will target. Warning. Hostiles in area.
decline, as useless as the bottle of the same name. Well, except as an example of an object that uselessly tries to fulfill its purpose. Are you sure you scanned something? Are you sure you scanned something? For science!
Might I be of service, sir? In addition to managing the personnel, any goods sir might require may be purchased. Very good, sir. Might I be of service, sir? Regrettably, indubitably. Very good.
it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? We're okay on Stimpax. We're okay on medics, until we have to numb the pain. Data collection available online. Please use the terminal below to begin user synchronization. is the basic stealth test. The robots will be looking for us, but we won't let them find us.
Are we being watched? We were spotted by robots. If you go back to the terminal to restart the test, Hello, I won't mess up again. to version 1.1. Boot damping sensors online.
song. This one looks pretty tough. Mobius's army. His robo scorpions crawl everywhere in search of intelligence to devour and stupefy. <laughs>
Are we being watched? Fighting over. Might I be of service? Very good, sir. Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. Yes, hmm, ah, uh, yes, 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 well, um, hmm. No, I mean, yes, you just need to analyze these technologies for a moment. They are extremely advanced, you know. I know how these technologies work. <laughs> of course I know. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. Why would we do that if we weren't certain on... on how to use them? Yes, so let me... Hmm, a bit, huh? I'll figure it out. Yes, that's what I believe I said. I've got it. The cardiac regulator in the suit, the antenna for brain waves, and the sonic frequency for the vertebral nerves. I'm thinking. This is all very complicated. Let me check something. Of course! I have it! The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics! Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and null pointers. Very sloppy, Mobius. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency, and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock... Yes, that could work. Was that my plan?
It must have been. Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open, and now Mobius will get his. Biological? <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science! Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius' reign of terror! Um, you can go now. That's your cue. Is that all?
This one looks pretty tough. Might I be of service, sir? Very good. Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. Was that all? Ready, steady, fighty. Was that all? This one looks pretty tough. Attention, Big Mountain. This is an urgent message. If you happen to see a gecko... Echo? 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 Bad guys dealt with. that no one has ever been as unnoticed as me.
Sneaking done. Fighting now. Was that all? Looks pretty tough.
Are we being watched? Bad guys dealt with. If you want to be sneaky, turn off your Pip-Boy light. Red up. Is it Christmas? to the me song me hmm? yo hello there uh, you are there aren't you uh, forgive my confusion so hard to tell these days uh, you seem familiar somehow i'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain perhaps uh, it's just up there uh, such a nice brain young very bright a uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> that's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises ooh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? Hmm, 
I love Mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though, especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations, although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Indeed, the uh, goodbye part of our little chat then. Uh, goodbye, uh, please mind the equations on the floor. themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? Oh yes, I rather expect you have. You must have been swamped, you poor dear. Why don't you relax and put your feet up? I've just been traumatically scooped out of my body and plugged into this jar. That's all. But you've been busy. Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a uh, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? I most certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those... Feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone. Do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. Maybe next time you hear me telling you that charging a nightkin with a penknife is a bad idea, you'll listen. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. 
Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. I don't believe it. It's just a simple fact. One may as well believe the Earth is round or that the specific gravity of uranium is 18.9. Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios One coming back online. Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios One coming back online. Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios One coming back. Jason Bright. Helios One. Jason. Helio. Jason Bright. Helios One coming. Jason Bright. Jason Bright and his followers. Jason. Helios One coming back online. Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios One coming. Jason Bright. Helios One. One coming back online. Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios One coming back on. Jason Bright and. Nobody ever notices me, but they notice the pit boy light.
messages. brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. Do you? You s- Ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual unpossibilities. Please be my guest. The receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob? Just turn that. Good? Good? Better? Oh! Oh, yes! That feels wonderful! This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break. Mm. Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Indeed, the, uh, goodbye part of our... I don't. Not put me back in that cranial dungeon you call your head? Heavens forbid. By all means, if the idea of spending the rest of your days as a true lobotomite appeals to you. Actually, come to think of it, you probably wouldn't mind that, would you? 
After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. Ah, lovely! Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me! I'm not the And have we... Fun? Fun? Is tetanus fun? Hmm? Is rickets? What about Celsius, huh? Enjoy that, do we? The things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous, and if you could silence your glandular impulses, you would hear me screaming at you! I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definite. Look at it from my perspective. In your head, I... Do you know how much... If you want me back, we need to establish some ground rules. First, showers! Second, regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalian orchestra. Promise me that, and you've got a deal. Really? Hm. I didn't expect you to actually agree to that. I'm afraid that was a bit of a bluff, really. I'm not going with you. Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about Jason Bright and his fault. Helios. Jason Bright. Helios. Jason Bright. with you at all, is there? I'm nothing more than a slave to your direct... Oh no! Please don't... Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a la... I don't know... It's true, the brains here have experienced some degree of... Deterioration. I'm confident that with a few decades of work, I can solve the problem. Of course I accounted for that! Do you think I'm so stupid? No, you're right. Maintaining my current functionality will be harder than I thought. This bears some further looking into. Let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now, using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Unless, of course, the batteries run out. But that seems unlikely. 
I'm not entirely sure. I suppose there's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. What form that might take, though, I cannot say. Ooh, crawl back in there? Are you mad? I don't know where you've been. For all I know, you're riddled with disease or packing one of those delightful head wounds you seem to attract. I'm not crawling back into your head just to ooze right back out again. While the brute force approach is a lovely one, really, it won't work. Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? Oh, energy weapons, yes. I'd almost forgotten how much fun those are. How do we proceed then? I suppose now that we're reunited, you want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. with might I be of service sir very good sir
Chinese-American internment camp. Survivors, ghouls, have bomb collars. Robots moved in when I tried to intercept him. Elijah sent the camp ghouls against us both, like walking bombs. Got hit by the explosions, woke up here. Guess the medical robots were programmed to bring wounded victims from the camp to this center. Some kind of autodoc prototype lab. Manned by corpses trapped inside suits that keep them moving. No idea why. Not sure how long I'm going to last. Cut open my head like a lot of the humans I've seen here. Feel strange. Can talk, but can't have the term. Wait. An explosion outside. Someone's here. Someone...
Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. Might I be of service, sir? Very good. Lobotomite returns. Our Lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? Fight. What? Uh, what? What? What do I? Ah! Colleagues, think tank, alert! Alert! We are under attack. Sneaky and dumb.
As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The Courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. Although, truth be told, the courier had barely explored the crater in an attempt to rush through and be done with the whole thing. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink was strangely silent, which it had never been in previous years. The lack of personality modules made the base lifeless and sterile. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 continued to scan for the subject and the stealth suit prototype long after the test was over. Frustrated and unable to find its lost technology, X-13 expanded its network of laser tripwires, sensors, and robo-brains out across Big Mountain. This glittering blue light-beam forest cleanly bisected anything that entered its depths, slicing them into small segmented parts for easy disposal. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. The think tank basement, filled with lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors, now served as a graveyard. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter that other smarty pants were not welcome. The courier was the inheritor of the big empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the think tank dome. There is an expression in the wasteland, Old World Blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, 
and new world hope. And hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. Doc's back online. Well, all right, come here. Let's have a look at you. You are, without a doubt, the healthiest son of a bitch I've ever seen wandering the big empty. Ain't got no use for an old digital sawbones like me. Rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. I trust matters regarding your brain were resolved to your satisfaction. And rightly so. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner, son of a bitch. Hey there, need anything? 
Sure. Here's what I got. I'll miss you.